But what will happen to the one who falls with no one to help him up? Moreover, if two lie down together, they will stay warm. But how can just one keep warm? And someone may overpower one alone, but two together can take a stand against him, and the threefold cord cannot quickly be torn apart. Mind you, the Bible didn't say it will not. It says it cannot easily. So the point here is to keep Jehovah in your marriage. Let him be the third card to strengthen this marriage, to keep together. When such love of God and of each other is cultivated by both you, Stephen, and, and Brooklyn, your marriage will last and be happy. For love never fails. Dear Brooklyn, it's been a crazy journey that we have had over the course of two and a half years. It all goes back to an Instagram post you were in with your friend Maddie Frontera posted. That you were so pretty and when I saw you in person, you took my breath away. I guess it was worth the wait to meet you because we met each other at the perfect time. Dear Stephen, tomorrow is our wedding day. It's going to be the best day of our life. I get to marry my best friend. The day we met, I could have never guessed that you would be one of the best things to ever happen to me. You are my Prince Charming hiding under a Fortnite tank top and a daddy hat. Stephen, you taught me how to love and to open and be less vulnerable. You changed me for the better. Looking back on all the history and memories, I can't believe we are finally here. You are filled with so much love and kindness. I feel like the luckiest woman, and I won the lottery with you. you. We are forever partners in crime. I can't wait to kiss you after saying our I do's and walking back down the aisle. See you on the other side of the aisle, my future husband. I love you so much. Love, Brooklyn.